Hey everyone, Redmaker here from Boss Dynamics and in this DCS SK60 video series we're going to be exploring some of the features that will be available in the SK60 upon the release. In this specific video we're going to cover the cold start of the aircraft and also do a simple take off and before we do anything else we should probably close the canopy because i know there are some aircraft incoming and it's going to be a bit noisy so let's do that let's close the canopy there they are now in the uh, released version of the sk60 there is going to be a checklist that's available through the uh, kneeboard in the aircraft uh, that's covering all the steps you do in a real aircraft before starting. Uh, everything from external walk-around checks and pre-checks and everything. But today we're going to cover the basics to get the plane started. And to do that, we start down here at the main panel. Uh, you turn on the battery by flipping this switch and you're going to hear a clicking sound. That means the avionics and instruments are starting to work some of the instruments though these digital ones need another kind of power so we need to flip two more switches these two right here that one and that one and you can see the electronics are coming alive uh, the gps has loaded we need to just press enter to acknowledge that it's ready and it's on at the moment we have no map data for this map it's the channel map but it's going to be in there eventually now we are ready to start the engine before we do that though we need to let the ground crew know that we're going to start it up so we press the anti-collection lights on and the lanterns on now let's do an engine start uh, it's done in a few simple steps you press these little fuel switches here and then the starter switch to press and hold that uh, and then you watch the N2 RPM go up. When that one reaches 12% you press the throttle down here and put it in idle and that lets the throttle spool up all the way. So let's do that now. Let's start with the left engine, the fuel switch on and the power press and hold. Watch the RPM. It's coming alive. We can release the switch and wait for 12% and we have 12% right about there. And now the engine can spool up all the way. While we wait, we can take a look at the Blackhawk starting up over there. And the left engine is alive. And we give that some power, put it in flight idle so we can start the right engine. So the right engine, the same thing, the right fuel switch, and the starter switch, press and hold. And we wait for the RPM to go up, it's starting to go up, we release the switch. And then we wait for 12% RPM. 12% is there. And it's coming alive, and while we wait for that you can see these other engine instruments are starting to move around also. That means the engines are working as they should. We can also dial in the altimeter and set it at the desired height, which is right about there. Now it looks like our engines are started, so we take the left throttle back to ground idle. And that's it, we are ready for takeoff. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is press the taxi lights backwards, and the taxi lights are on. Now, to uh, use the aircraft on the ground, you need to bind this little button here. It's called Nose Gear Maneuvering Range. Uh, you can either press and hold the keyboard cut, uh, button or assign a button on your HOTAS on it. I have it on a switch on my throttle. Uh, in the real aircraft, you have a little wheel down here that lets you control the aircraft on the ground but we will be controlling it with our uh, rudder pedals. So I press and hold the switch to engage the nose gear steering and we can start rolling.
Let's go out to the right here, just make sure there is no traffic. There is no traffic. And we're rolling out to the right. Here's the runway, so we're going to line up. You can see the Blackhawks are taking off to go do their thing. Alright, we are lined up on the runway. Now we apply full brake pressure and put the throttle all the way up. And we release the brakes now. Take that nose wheel steering off. And rotate. Gear up. Now we are airborne. 